We're celebrating the season premiere of our 16th season today on At Your Leisure, and we're doing it with a couple of hundred of our closest friends. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Come with us as we go from the Utah State Capitol all the way over Butterfield Canyon into Tooele with a group of street legal machines. It's all in commemoration of the passage of House Bill 82. All this lineup and we're celebrating 16 years. At your leisure's next. season in the dirt, but this year we're starting the new season on the road, our Sweet 16. Hi, I'm Rio Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth, and you know, the first time I rode an ATV up here at the Capitol, it was in a land protest in a staged parade. But today, thanks to House Bill 82, I can just hop in my street legal ATV and drive up here. And today there's a large event to celebrate its passage and we are joining that crowd. Let's find out a little bit about it. Today was uh, all about uh, celebrating House Bill 82, which is the new street legal law for Salt Lake County, um, and partnership with Tooele County. They've opened up some brand new trails to UTVs, and so we're here to celebrate in House Bill 82. You don't have to drive your car to the grocery store. You can actually jump in your UTV, drive it to the grocery store, get your groceries, drive it home, and then you can also drive it up over the mountain and, and on trails. So it's uh, really changed the way people recreate. This is important to us because we're closer to the metro area than a lot of other fantastic places you can still ride your side-by-side -side or ATV, but since we're closer, you can spend more time doing the thing that you love with your machine rather than commuting to the place that maybe you've gone to so many times before. We started at the mouth of Butterfield Canyon in Salt Lake County. We went all the way to the top, met at the top of Kennecott Overlook. Um, that's right on the border of um, Salt Lake County and Tooele County. Met up there, we had about 100 vehicles. And then we, we went down on the Tooele side called Middle Canyon, went all the way down Middle Canyon made it all the way to Deseret Peak Complex where we had lunch and uh, a big big event. Middle Canyon here in Tooele County is a gorgeous place. We oftentimes compare it to our Mill Creek Canyon here in Tooele County. This time of year, of course, you've got some beautiful fall coloring. It's not as well traveled as say the, the main road that goes into Salt Lake Valley from Tooele Valley. And so it, it's a little bit slower. It's, uh, it's a nice place to take your ATV, maybe even camp off to one of the campgrounds on the side. They think of the Ochre Mountains and you think of, of a copper mine. Uh, but when you go up Butterfield Canyon and, and take a look at the scenery up there, it's just absolutely amazing. You're talking pine trees, aspens, and then all the way down from Middle Canyon, there's places to camp. Come on out and, and experience a, a little bit slower pace, a nice country ride. No matter what your machine is, or even on a horse, or maybe bicycling, or even hiking. But we welcome you all out to Tooele County for your next ATV ride. Well, as you can see, this has been a really fun event. And when it was the last time you were on the border of Tooele and Salt Lake County, and you had 50 plus ATVs all in a row? I don't ever remember any time in my life. This is the first time in Utah history. Yeah, probably. And we are at the overlook of the Kennecott uh, copper mine. The tourist buses come in from the Salt Lake side and they, they see the world from right down there almost to the bottom of the pit from where we are. We're at the very top of the pit. It's cool. And this is what you see from the Tooele County side when you come up Butterfield Canyon and take the little side rail up here. You know, this is always just such a great time of year, the beginning of fall. You know, the mornings are nice and crisp. I don't even know how it changed so fast. Yeah. I mean, it was just like two weeks ago, there was maybe a hint of yellow, and now there's bright red everywhere. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. But now we're going to lower our elevation, and we're going to head over to our travel adventure with Stephen Human at the Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree. Thanks, Chad and Rhea. I'm Stephen Human. Now, there are a lot of small towns throughout the West that have really embraced off-road recreation. But as those towns grow and get bigger and bigger, that form of recreation tends to become less and less important. Well, today I'm in one city that for the past 25 years 
has made off-road travel a priority. And no matter how big they've gotten, it continues to pay off. Richfield is the largest city in South Central Utah and lies just off Interstate 70, about 40 miles from I-15. From the earliest days of settlement, local residents knew they were in a particularly blessed location when it came to beauty and discovery. Over two decades ago, they decided to invite the world to experience it all firsthand. The Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree was born, framing adventure and exploration in the area for years to come. This year is the 25th anniversary of the Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree here in Sevier County. It's the 25th year that this event's been going on here in the county and uh, we're just excited to have everybody here. So what they're coming down here to do is ride our trail system here, the Paiute ATV trail system. We've got approximately 2,000 miles worth of trails here in Sevier County. It allows a group of people to to get together that are all into the same thing, so to speak. It's so nice to come down to a jamboree of this size, especially in this area, because the terrain, the views, the mountains are so much different here than they are in North Idaho, where we're from. And it's, to me, it just reminds me of a mini Grand Canyon almost, just the beauty that's down here. Thousands of people descend on Richfield every September to explore, challenge their skills, and enjoy the diversity of the landscape. In 2009, the Jamboree even broke a Guinness Book of World Records milestone with the largest ever ATV parade, stretching literally from one end of the city to the other. Facts like these act as a reminder of just how impressive the off-road opportunities are in Richfield. For the local community, it lets people know that they live in some of the greatest riding areas in the country. When they see people from, coming from all over the country and even from other countries, they say, well, gee, I live in this area. Why don't I have an ATV? We've got everything here in Sevier County, in Richfield, that you would have up on the Wasatch Front down in St. George, Las Vegas. So it's a perfect place to bring your family and enjoy a weekend or a week-long getaway. One of the biggest things I enjoy right now are these mountains, and I can be there right now. It doesn't take, I can pull my side-by-side my -side out of the garage, and I can drive straight to my nearest trail and be there within minutes, fishing in my favorite place within 30 minutes. I mean, what one thing that's great about Sevier County is we're only two and a half hours, two hours from the Wasatch Front. You can be down here, we have all the amenities up there, and, and totally just enjoy and relax. The Paiute ATV system links from Richfield to locales up and down the entire state, taking riders directly to destinations like the Fremont Indian State Park, all the way to the peaks of the Tusher Mountains and the water crossings that make the trip memorable. Then you can drive straight back to your hotel and plot your course for the next day of adventure. That's what the Rocky Mountain ATV Jamboree is all about and what Richfield has strived to provide for every visitor, no matter what they ride. It's a small town with great people, but there's about anything you want to do. In fact, you can mountain bike or ATV or fish or hunt within 10 minutes of where you live. You don't have to, you don't have to travel long distances to do that. There's 600 riders here this morning. It's like a family. You know, these guys come from all over the United States. They're here for a week long. I've met individuals that have been coming here for 25 years. It's like a big family reunion every year. They look forward to interacting. We get a lot of comments. They like interacting with the locals here. The locals enjoy seeing them out here. Uh, it's just a good time. It's like one big family reunion here in Sevier County. If you've never been to an ATV Jamboree before, I highly suggest coming out and giving one a try. Now, obviously, the Rocky Mountain ATV Jam is over for this year, but mark it for 2018 and join us out here because you're going to have a great time meeting new people and experiencing new trails. And if you want to come out to Richfield anytime during the year, you can because the trails are always open. There's plenty of hotels, restaurants, everything that you could need for a wonderful weekend or an entire week with your family. Well, for At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. We need to take a commercial break, but we'll be back with more adventure. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with a youth reservation Skin starvation, that Duchesne County life whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Polaris has a razor to match your passion. 
unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Everything you need to chase memories and catch them. Find your razor at Polaris.com. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure season premiere. I'm Jordan Wayman, and for this week's product review, we're gonna go over the Polaris Ranger, brand new 2018 Ranger Crew Cab HVAC. This looks like a lot of fun, so let's go take it out for a spin. So the first thing that I really noticed about this thing, it is so easy to drive. I can use my fingers and I just put my finger here and I can turn with my fingers going over rocks or bumps or anything. The Polaris Ranger is the workhorse in the industry. This has a thousand cc's, it's a four stroke twin cylinder motor, it's got electronic fuel injection and it's liquid cooled. Now on the front suspension we have a dual A arm with a coil over shock that gives you 10 inches of clearance and that's great for these longer wheel bases for going over rocks or logs and it's exactly what you need for hunting or just going out and having fun on the trail. Now on the Polaris Ranger, you have your standard dump bed that you have on a lot of the different models with both grab handles, or a dump handle on each side, so you can dump from either side. Here's the motor right here, it's the 1000cc motor. It comes pretty standard on a lot of your Rangers. You can haul up to 1500 pounds, and you can tow up to 2000 pounds. That's the same as most mid-sized trucks, and so, when you think of a Polaris Ranger, you just think, oh, it's just kind of like all the rest of the Rangers, but there's 16 different models of Rangers. And what's different about this one is it comes standard with the full enclosure cab. This is the real deal here. This is a hard shell with tempered safety glass all the way around, and you can't really appreciate it until you're inside. So let's go check it out. All right, first thing, as you can notice, as always, in the Polaris Crew, it's very spacious and really comfortable. You can fit six people in here, but the cool thing is, is what I first noticed is when I'm in here is this whole thing is covered in this fabric. It absorbs all the sound, so like no, rattles and everything. You have your fan speed, and you have your hot and your cold, your defrost for your windows. So this is a really great machine for your friends and family all year round. Hopefully that'll get you excited for 2018. Go check one of these out at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele, right there on Main Street. That's been this week's product review. I'm Jordan Wayman, and we'll be back with more At Your Leisure right after this. If you believe life starts where the blacktop ends, if the power of an engine makes your heart race, don't settle for anything less than Polaris Razor, the ultimate off-road vehicle. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, and unmatched agility, all perfectly combined to help you chase down what matters most. Polaris Razor, we fuel your freedom. A turnout on an old backcountry road, a boulder field in the outcountry, doesn't really mean much, it's not really remarkable, unless you're camping there with your kids. I am so glad that when my daughters were young, we made the choice to get an RV, because we were able to discover together snakes and fish and butterflies and all kinds of things like that. Make those dreams with your young family at Ray City RV, Utah's low price RV dealer on Riverdale Road in Roy.
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're making our way down Butterfield Canyon as part of the House Bill 82 Victory Celebration Ride. Yeah, this has been a great day so far. And I know there's kind of been some confusion about this bill, about what's in it and, you know, what's expected of our new, you know, street legal ATVers. So we've got three experts that we're going to talk to that are going to tell us exactly what's in this bill. You'll be in the know when they're done. Watch this. See you at the bottom. So we're here to talk about House Bill 82 and some of the confusion. There's a lot of confusion out there. Um, I'm even confused at my dealership. So we have two experts here that are going to answer some questions. I read the bill last night, and, I, and I'm like, it's I don't It's a little confusing. So, yeah. so I'll just I'll just jump in here real quick. So the, probably the easiest thing to consider for anyone that's out there is if if you're operating in 28 counties across the state, minus Salt Lake County. Your maximum speed limit is 50 miles per hour on any road outside of an interstate freeway. Within Salt Lake County, if this posted speed limit is 50, you cannot legally operate on that road. If the speed limit is 65, uh -huh. hypothetically, let's just use an example going from, from Gunnison on US 89 down to Salina. That speed limit is 65. However, if you're street legal, you can operate 50 miles per hour is your maximum speed limit and you need to be as far over as what the roadway will allow. And one other thing, the reason they only want you to go a uh, maximum of 50 miles per hour on any highways because right now they don't require the tires to be DOT approved. It's more of a safety thing than anything. Yeah. For heaven's sakes, these things are really built off highway vehicles. We've changed the ruling and it's awesome that we've done it, but realize what you're right. The tires are not made to go down freeways. An ATV, you have to have a helmet um, under 18 years old. And on a UTV, no helmets are required, but the law is gonna change in 2018. It will be under 21. So basically an ATV is the same rules as a motorcycle, and the UTV is the same as a car or a Jeep or whatever. Baby seat, if you got a baby in there, seat belts are required no helmets. Do I have to have a plate and a sticker to operate? And the answer to that is no. Once when a person decides to register as street legal, their registration fees also helps compensate the off-highway vehicle dirt transportation system, which is $18. I look at it as recreation, outdoor recreation. Now we have outdoor recreation on road and we can take it from this road to that dirt road and go up like today. You grab your kids, you grab your wife, and you get in your rig from your house and go up into these beautiful canyons and get on dirt. So the, the multi-function of it is, is awesome. There you have it. You got all the rules and regulations of that new house bill. And I'll tell you what, if you want to find out more, just go to the state's website and they'll have all the details on there for you. Yep. House Bill 82 really has changed the uh, face of riding ATVs. I mean, think about it. You can start in Salt Lake City now from your home. If you know which routes to drive with street legal, you can come over Butterfield Canyon, get out here to Deseret Peaks. From here, yeah. with street legal, you can connect to the Prospector Trail System, which will take you all the way through the West Desert of Utah. But that's not all. Then you can start connecting to the Wawa Trail System, Amasa Valley. Pretty soon, you're gonna be able to hop in your ATV and go all the way to the southern border of the state. Right now, it's time for us to turn to our trailhead adventure, brought to you each week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, our great friends down there with all the goodies for your rigs. Yeah, especially if you wanna make a street legal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, imagine something that you started as a project, oh, say, a hundred years ago and you never knew how famous it was going to be until the big ta-da moment. Sound confusing? Well just watch our trailhead adventure. So it's not every day that you get to do a ribbon cutting on a house that's over 130 years old but we did it today. And Darren is rightfully proud because after all history connects all of us in interesting ways. Something as innocuous as an old cabin on the side of the road can bring people together from different walks of life and backgrounds. Here, along Highway 89, just a couple of miles south of the small town of Circleville, one such cabin exists. Now, this isn't really any ordinary collection of old wood and mortar. <laughs> oh, no. This is the boyhood home of one Butch Cassidy, 
a Utahan that lives on in legend and literature long after his death. All of the preservation work has now been completed, and today it's a celebration of not only a famous outlaw, but the dedication of those who would hang on to our Western heritage. We did the ribbon cutting for Butch Cassidy's Boyhood Home. We had a, a great program that was put together. Uh, Clive Romney was here and performed. C.R. Woods was here and, and performed. This is the end result of three years worth of, of work to, to get this thing restored. And uh, I like to call it a preservation project. We have done a great job at preserving Butch Cassidy's Boyhood Home. Finally, we've got the cabin stabilized. We've got some signage up, and we're ready to have people come and experience Butch Cassidy as a true Utah. Robert Leroy Parker, who as an outlaw was better known as Butch Cassidy, lived a colorful life to say the least. He's inspired people from all over the world with tales of exploding trains and robberies with the Sundance Kid. While his life outside the law has made some question his glorification, no one can second guess his historical significance. The cabin gives that significance new meaning. Butch Cassidy came here with his family. They moved from Beaver. Butch moved over here somewhere around 14 years of age and grew up here in the Parker homestead here and lived here until he left home and headed out on his notorious ways. I grew up as a, a kid wanting to be Butch Cassidy. My dad would tell me stories about him when I was little and I, I felt like he was family. That personal connection extended well beyond the normal confines of historians and archaeologists. The effort to preserve the cabin required the coordination of Paiute and Garfield counties, several state agencies, including Utah State Parks, private landowners, and a couple of different committees. Now, normally, a task involving that many stakeholders would be doomed to fail, but the history behind Butch Cassidy and the fascination his tales have created actually smoothed the road on the way to today's ribbon cutting. It truly was a labor of love. The list of people that have been involved in, in this project, the public would wonder what the heck, why, why so many people involved? But you know what, out of the love for the project, they were here and they were not only here, but they were here helping us put fence in, helping us move dirt. And frankly, it was just personal for me. I had to make sure this happened. It was, it was a personal uh, accomplishment and something that I felt I needed to do for my dad. And not to mention the fact that Frankly, Butch Cassidy is one of Utah's most famous citizens. You know, you could argue that Brigham Young or other people may be more famous, but frankly, there's movie after movie after movie and book after book after book about Butch Cassidy, and, and there's a mystique of Butch Cassidy. Butch Cassidy's an outlaw, and you've got to The legend of Butch Cassidy can now be experienced along Highway 89 by car as well as by ATV. The Paiute Trail System has been expanded to lead right to the cabin. It's a piece of history that can be touched and appreciated by anyone who wants to feel the presence of one of Utah's most notorious citizens. I think things like this tell the story of who we are and who we were. I don't think you could find a more prominent native Utah than Butch Cassidy. We don't have all the answers about Butch Cassidy. Uh, we don't proclaim to have all the answers about Butch Cassidy, but we do have a beautiful home that's been restored so the public can come see it. I think you'll realize what a peaceful, nice little site this is and what a great job's been done to preserve this for future generations. May the cabin and Butch Cassidy's legacy stand for another 130 years. From the trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. Nine to five here is five to nine. We earn our scars. We wear our work ethic. We work until the work's done. And when it is, there's a family to raise, a neighbor to check on, a country to feed. A few hours of shut eye to rest up for tomorrow, the day will finally get something done.
Our Trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website. If you get up early to get more done, if you believe hard work makes you stronger, don't settle for anything less than the hardest working, smoothest riding side-by-side ever built. Polaris Rangers help you haul more, pull more, dump more, and make more of your free time when the work is done. Polaris Ranger, like you, we're driven to do more. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are at Deseret Peak at the Celebration Ride, and we are celebrating Street, street Legal. Oh, Yay! Street. Yeehaw! Salt Lake County. Well, we have a lot to attend to. The first thing we want to talk to you about is upcoming events. Coming up this weekend is Trail Hero down in Hurricane. Remember we were there last year, that big gnarly rock crawling event? Uh, that yeah. that just is a, like a rig buster. Oh my gosh, these guys, they have kahunas. That's all I gotta say. The stuff that they drive up, yep. amazing. Fun to, fun, fun to go ride, fun to compete, fun to spectate. So don't miss it, we'll be back down there again. We had so much fun. Now, second item of business. We need to find in all these rigs a sticker winner. I think we found one. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> gee, just so happened we happened to stop right here. Look at that. It's the Bumblebee. Got an AYL sticker on it. If you are the Bumblebee, buzz on over to our office. Or call us. Or call us, 947-8888, 801-947-8888, to claim your prize, your, your, our sticker winner for this week. Congratulations, Bumblebee, because you just won 400 bucks worth of Rifab, which is all that really cool stuff you can trick out your OHV with, and uh, you got it. So give us a call. But now we're going to go look at next week's show. We're hitting the dunes in seven days as Chad and Rhea ride in one of the biggest off-road events in the world. It's an invasion on the sand, and they'll have all the details for you. From there, Reese Stein visits Fort Robinson, Nebraska, and discovers there's more than one way to ride off into history. Own the outdoors next week with AYL. Wow, what a way to kick season 16 off to a start. I you know, sweet 16 and HB 82. That's true. It has been one of the biggest season premieres we've ever done. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for joining us for this adventure. Remember that there's adventure around every bend, but... You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. Adventure! Hey. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Well, crap. <laughs> okay, well, that was it. That's... I got nothing else to say. <laughs> Let's Go find one more time. We are on. Oh, sorry. 